perspective defines your reality and this is such an important and core principle towards how you live your everyday life that most people seem to overlook i was recently watching uh, the latest episode of cosmic disclosure where tim tactical advisor or also known as tim tactics was talking about how he had this experience with the grays in which he went to the container that he usually goes to and inside of it was the gray and the gray interface with them and sent him to 6D reality, sent him to 6D consciousness in which he got to interact with the master line level of the grays, which sounds like a mind blowing experience, doesn't it? It sounds like something you're just like, whoa, he did what? What happened? That's what I was thinking at least. But the most important thing here that I think most people should really highlight is that when he was in a state experiencing this, this level of awareness, this being, this six dimensional being was in a state of apathy. Can you imagine a being who's in a six dimensional level of awareness was experiencing apathy. It was experiencing apathy because it got to such a high level of awareness that it then began to understand that it is literally everything and the reality that we're existing in has no actual value or substance to it because it is everything. So it's very much like uh, like God mode in a game. It's like you realize that, well, I can control everything. I can do anything I want, but also everything is literally me. So it just, it just starts to experience such apathy that it withdrew into itself and it went into a sleep state. And this experience really disrupted him. It put him in a depressed state of mind for three years until he had another experience with this being called being six. Now I have to do an entirely different episode on being six. And this is my first time even uh, reviewing Gaia information like this, but it's something that I've been following for quite a long time. And I find really, really, really interesting. So, he interfaced with being six and he went into another six dimensional level of awareness, six dimensional level of experience. And in this experience, he experienced something very drastically different in this level of experience. He wasn't experiencing apathy because that's not the, the, the resonance that being six, six was giving off. He was experiencing beauty. The first thing he said was beauty. Being six had this, this awe this reverence for all of existence. Yes, it understood that all of life is a creation of its creating, you know? Yes, it understood that all things are the one and the one is all things. So therefore you're interacting with various aspects of yourself, but it didn't see that as a bad thing. It didn't see that as a negative thing. It didn't see that as something to be sad about or, or create despair about or apathy about. What it had was beauty, gratitude, appreciation. It said that it was finding beauty in all of creation. It was finding beauty in all things and the various ways that the colors are created, the various ways that uh, we choose to express ourselves, you know, from the oneness, you know, me he, here, a human being, animals, cats, dogs, dolphins, you know, all the various ways that those things to create and express themselves. And then you have inanimate objects. We have the houses, you know, we have materials that we've used to build the houses. We have wood, we have trees, we have all the various ways that the creator chooses to express itself. So my question is this, first off, my mind was blown that a six dimensional level of awareness could if even experience uh, grief, loneliness, apathy, because when you think of those things, you usually think of us, human beings, and, and 3D consciousness, where we are resonating at those frequencies, where we are creating those frequencies. So to me, a light bulb in my head was going off like, okay, well, if you can experience apathy at a six-dimensional six level of awareness, then that means that 
your frequency of thinking isn't necessarily tied to your vehicle. It's not tied to your body per se. It's just the frequency that you're oscillating at. And you can oscillate at dissonant frequencies even with a very high level of awareness. But here's the thing. We have two opposing uh, views here. We have the masterline gray view, and I'm saying masterline because that's what Tim said. We have the grays on the masterline who have 6D level awareness, and we have being six um, who is also experiencing a six dimensional level of awareness. Both of them are able to create from their own experiences a perspective which then defines their reality defines their reality. So their perspective defined their reality, which is extremely important because it still goes to show that even at a six dimensional timeless state, a timeless, spaceless state of beingness, your definition of reality still, it still creates your perspective and your definition of reality still creates how you view everything, how you view creation, how you view life, how you view your purpose. And I'm very passionate and fired up about this because it's actually very fascinating. It's very fascinating because no matter what, even if you, even as you ascend the ladder, even as you grow and, and you expand in awareness and you're going from, you know, 1D, 2D, 3D, 4D, 5D, 6D, all the way up the ladder, your definition and perspective of reality still creates your experiences. So from understanding that we need to analyze our perspective and our definition on things every day. What are we choosing to tell ourselves? What are we choosing to define for ourselves? What are the, the, the ways that we choose to live life? If we have this understanding and not everyone has this understanding and perspective that we're all one. But if you come to that understanding in your spiritual role, how are you integrating and in, in, in experiencing life with other people? Are you happy for other people's joy? Are you happy for their success? Are you happy for whatever that they're, they're experiencing in life? Or are you, are you in, you know, dissonance from that? Are you playing negative? frequencies in your mind about that? Are you experiencing jealousy and envy and lust and despair and all these other things that create this dissonant harmonic frequency inside of you? What frequencies are you playing inside of your mind? How are you perceiving of reality? What perspectives and definitions are you creating for yourself on a daily basis? That's my question to you because how you perceive and define things is everything. So at this point in time, Tim uh, began to, after he integrates with this, this uh, experience from being six, he then began to share with the grays that it seems like they have this um, natural, uh, I guess, joy, or they find fun in puzzles. You know, their anal analytical mind, they love to put things together. They love to uh, solve puzzles. And through that understanding, they then understood that in the universe, there's an infinite number of puzzles to solve, an infinite number of issues to resolve. And through that understanding, the grace became appreciative of, of, of this of this knowledge, of this awareness, of this new perspective that they had from, from Tim, because it seems like they're, they're, uh, the way that they were integrating with people, the way that they were communicating with other beings is that they were trying to find their purpose again. They're trying to find a new perspective again, a new reason for living, a new way of seeing the world. And it's so amazing that people or beings who we might think of as, you know, if you look at their technology, you might say, wow, these people are enlightened. They're, they're so beyond what we can do. They're so far out there in advance. You know, if you look at other beings and their, their technology and their awareness and the way that they interact with reality, you know, at a six dimensional level of awareness, 
the Greys had complete complete control over their, their reality. They had complete control over their domain. And we don't experience reality in life like that. I don't experience re reality in life like that. I'm not lit literally levitating right now. You know, I'm not flying through the air. I'm not creating matter in the palm of my hands. And yet, the beings, the greys, still had something to learn from us. Still. So, I love that saying, always learning, always a student. When someone feels that they have learned all that they can learn, <laughs> which is literally the state that they were in, the six dimensional state of they feel like they've learned all that they can and so they were rejecting new information you can reach a state of apathy like that you can reach a state of overconfidence you can reach a state of you know angst that there's nothing more than this i've learned all that i can but that's not necessarily true it's your perspective that defines your reality so with that understanding with that knowledge, and I just I just had this uh, line yesterday that I heard from Dr. Joe Dispenza, which is a bar. He said, knowledge without experience is philosophy. And I was like, that's a bar. <laughs> that's a bar because that's facts. That's straight facts. Knowledge without experience is philosophy. And I feel like a lot of times we accumulate all of this knowledge we accumulate all of this, we read all these books, we listen to all these gurus, we absorb all of this, but yet we don't have the tangible experiences to integrate all those things to make it true for us. And therefore it becomes a vanity. It becomes something that you collect on your wall. It becomes a plaque or, or something that you collect, collectibles. So perspective defines a reality. And every day of life, I want you to meditate on that. I want you to integrate that. I want you to journal that. I want you to think about that. Your perspective defines your reality. And therefore, if you're experiencing a negative reality, now don't get me wrong, there are things outside of us that's always in flux, you know, that's always creating things for us because we live in a co-creative reality. So you can't control whether someone's on your bumper or not giving you road rage or you get into a car accident or there's a death in a family, or whatever. Those are things that you cannot control, but what you can control is your reaction to them, your perspective to that event, and your definitions and labels that you create from those specific events. That is what you can control. That is what is within your awareness for you to direct your energy. What harmonics and, and frequencies are you playing in your mind? What are the things that you're doing every single day to create resonance to create joy to create love to create freedom and enlightenment inside of your life that's what i want you to think about praise the sun i'll see y'all in the next one